And that's where I slept last night in between them two trees. That's where I just, yeah, put a bit of string between the two, hung there, beaut. Right, now I've just got to find my way out of these young trees. Back to the Pennine Way, and we'll be laughing. Oh. That's it, I went far away, but further enough, so no one would have seen me. But the old dog stopped with me all night, snuggled up next to me. I think she enjoyed it. Morning, ladies! Still got the head torch on, look. It's only... Just gone five o'clock. Lovely. And here's the Pennine Way. Let's do it. Into the moorland now. Eh? Straight into the moors. This is what I did not fancy doing last night. Oh, it's nice and calm. We've got no wind at the minute. I've got my coat on, which is probably too much. But, start of day number, hmm, I don't know. It's day th three, I think. Day four. Is it really day four? Well, it's gone around quick, hasn't it? Right, eh? I'll put you in my pocket. Do a double count where I camped. Because all of them, after I've done the thing, there's a few trees here, but it's bogland. And then all that's clear fell, and there must be two or three hundred acres over there that's clear fell. And I've just got to some trees here, look. And the problem with them is, they've got all the roots in from last crop. So there's just no flat floor anywhere. Yep. All the way out. Hello, Mr. Sunshine. But we're not that far away from Adrian's Wall. Look at that colours now the sun's out. She's a beaut, she's blinding. Oh, I think I found the wall. I'm pretty sure if it comes up on that ridge, you can just see the cliff face in them trees. Then there is a wall that goes up and over. All of that. Not that big one, that looks like a mini penny, uh, penny greth, doesn't it? So I'm going up to that gap there and then turning right, so I should be going over the top of all that lot, I think. Yeah, some of the people said it was like a roller coaster. And some of the people said they didn't enjoy it. So let's go and embrace. Oh, you can't see because of the, the wall looks there and it's got the grass growing on the top, so it's quite wide. What about that wide look? And that's sat up on top of that. Then it drops, and we've got this bit here. We'll go see what that looks like. The sunshine is right doing us in today, isn't it? Yeah, so just a bit of a single normal wall in this bit in between. And up there. And we go up these steps. Right, let's go kill ourselves. And they didn't compromise on this wall. It's lovely. Got more water down there, more rock faces, a cliff faces, so. So I take it, I go down, down there to go back up. So they make a perfect little workbench. So that's what I've been having for breakfast. I've just brought one pot. Well, I brought about four pots, but then I bagged it all up. And then you can get four pots in one of them pots if you do that. And then just, because then I just keep washing it out a little bit and using it for the line for putting the water in. Jobs are good in. And we're gonna have a cup of tea now, still got some milk. I started doing that as well. Just, yeah. I don't normally bring tea, but I thought when we get a bit further down and I'm eating food from shops and stuff, I might need tea. You never know. Oh, that's boiling already. Time for tea. Easy. Look how many cows. They're only ickle. 
That Adrian Wall is a killer. There are those steps. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can. You can see a diagonal line down to the platform and then down the side of the, through the gap and round. Jeez Louise, I just got my arse down and my head up going down there. It's horrible. Up, down, up, down. Nasty. Nasty Nancy. Are you being there? Hey, hey, leave the cows alone. Are there any baby cows? There's a hole in the wall. I don't know why. Oh, look at the ewes on that one. That's not baby cake for my dad. There we go. Holy moly. That's that farm. That's that. Oh, we started off behind that there. Yeah. That's the farm you come down and walk around the back of. Wow. We're busting out the miles today. Big time. And here we are, sports fans. This is the highest point on Adrian's Wall. And it's the halfway point according to that map back there that we've just looked at. Yeah. Oh my God. Woo. Wow. That's a Harris Gorge, that is. You wanna go up? Are you going up? Cow. Are you getting up? Up. Are you getting up there? Go on then. We'll have to use this one as a thumbnail, won't we? Looking pretty, dog. I'll lift you down. Are we ready? Go on then, let's go. Let's go. Away. She gets all excited, I don't know why. Are you a nut job? Are you daddy's nut job? Go on then. Do you ever look towards Scotland over the wall? Kee! Look at the clouds! That's what's coming. A bit of sunshine over there and it's coming this way. Lovely! Right, this one's for the complaints department of Facebook. Just clicked on there. First thing I see was an advert for Coffee Bean with their big breakfast bat. That's not fair! I could murder one of them. Two of them. Definitely murder two of them. Guess what? Just come down. It's a scramble. Definitely. Not too bad now. These are a bit more like step shapes. They've not been step shapes. They've just been mitch mashed in a lot of places. Jeez. Up, down, up, down. It is definitely a roller coaster. My mum said she wanted to walk the wall. When she's seen these videos, she might just change her mind. <laughs> That's more like the wall we're expecting, wasn't it? We've got to get down there. Bloody scrambling again, look. But yeah, but that looks better. No, there's more hills for me to go over. Lovely. Lots and lots of lovely hills. Johnny Cash. I'm walking the line. I'm not walking for long because it's all uneven. But it's all concreted together now. Stop people nicking it, I think. Come on, doggy. Oh, there's a sign up there. Let's go read the sign. Tell us all about it, won't it? Sam's going to tell us what this was. It was one of them, look. Oh, there we go, let's get a good... Can everybody read it? So I'll read it, but I'm not reading it to you. I'm not very good at reading. Right, I'm going to read it myself now. But where are we? Uh, some gap, claw gap there. That's the highest point where we were not long ago. Claw gap. Then I got another mile to claw field. Yeah. 
This must have been a big one. Let's have a look see if there's a board kicking about and tell us what's going on. There's a hole in the wall. Looks like it's something was there look. If it steps out wider here. So that's the wall. If you look down, that steps out, same as that side. So I wonder if that's where the tower was. And then this would have been like a service room of some description. I think, oh, there's water over there. I think we're about at the end of the... I'm pretty... <laughs> I've said it several times. I'm pretty sure that's the last bump we go over. Yeah. I mean, they didn't even have cannons back then when these were built. And they are thick walls. I don't know what they were expecting. And where's all the stone gone? I mean, you've seen the picture back there of what it's meant to look like. Yeah, okay, people took it away, built houses, built farmyards, probably built all the walls around here out of it. But if you were taking stone away, you'd start there and take it all. You wouldn't just take the top layer off, would you? You'd start the closest point to your house or to wherever you are and just take the lot. So I can't understand it, it's a bit weird. Crawfield Quarry. Oh, it used to be. Lovely lake, car park, and I'm hoping, I've got a bin, I need a bin, but I'm hoping that under that bench there, look, we'll be able to uh, have a bit of dinner. How cool's that? Hopefully there's a tap here. Well, I've took over the bench. I've filled my water bottles up because there's tap around the corner. So I've just got me... Um, What's it called? That you put in your drinks? Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. So we've got that in, and then a pan of water. So we've got some of these. Well being um, Lemon and lime, that is. And this is citron, this thing. And I'll tell you what, it tastes good. It tastes really good. It tastes like good, I like to drink it. That's them full. I need a new bottle because it's got a crack in it. But don't leave it. We're all right. So yeah, so I'm going to get some dinner on the go. People have over talked, just pulled in, so I'll probably have a conversation with them. And yeah, I'm going to have a cup of tea and a proper dinner. I don't know what dinner I'm going to have yet. A proper dinner. I'm not. I'm going to have... Oh, that bolognese thing. Oh no, chilli con carne, that ain't that good. I've had one of them before. That's another chilli con carne. That's one of them, that's a thousand calories. Oh no, sweet and sour chicken with rice, thousand calories. I've got to be really hungry to eat that one. I thought that was chilli con carne. What's the other one got in this bag? Adventure food, that's the one. Pasta bolognese. I'm going to have pasta bolognese for lunch rather than dinner tonight. I, wanna... I didn't eat dinner last night because so I went hungry. I don't know why. I should have been. I should have been starving. But I'm hungry now. So... Hello again. How are we doing? Not too bad. All right. Oh, I've been down. I've just been I'm talking to this big group of people that just came in. And... Uh, it was like this oldest couple of, out of them all. And I was talking to the woman, and they're all from Australia to walk the wall. They've all got here in a different way. This old lady had walked a big one in Portugal before she got here. And they'd all just turned up here and met there at a particular time to walk the wall, as in Asians walk. As random as you like. The, why would you come to England from Australia to walk? Come to tidy up after everybody, little Robin has. Huh? Little Robin? There you go. He's only about three feet from me. And he's not scared. Not one bit. There he is, little guy, little worry. She 
is a ridge, all right. Look at the views, Ellie. Still on the wall, but it's not not what they call the high highlands wall. Ooh, yeah. But that wind is blowing. Jeez, Louise, that is blowing. Ooh. I'll have no cobwebs left when I've done here. Hey, Castle. I see Castle on the map. I'm near the last bit of my wall. A bit, walky bit. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, I've just come down into this bit of a village out the window, just been on the top there. Oh, blow through you, dear me. Oh, nice. I could keep seeing the little, little sign. Uh, acorn, isn't it? Keep seeing the little acorn. I lost it earlier and I'd have a bit of a detour, but we're all good. Kale, go on over the bridge. Let's get off the line. It's got a bit hectic. We crossed the tra train line. I've had a, from one of the visitor centres, when I had my dinner, I've been leapfrogging this uh, husband and wife and son. And, uh, no dogs allowed. Oh, we're going around the golf course. Uh, I've just done the train line, and so I've seen that castle, and then people started talking to me. Then we got to the train line, then it all got busy again with hikers, and I've just literally left the Adrian's Warpath. So it should be a lot quieter now because everybody's doing that, not this. So what else was I going to say? I've seen that written in Scotland on stones in the middle of the track in the woodland. Notice boards all over. Yeah. So whoever dozer is. Hiya! Look at that. Make a great book for the hikers to hide in. Oh, I'm going back up and onto some more land. I've seen quite a few people hiking doing the Pennine Way. There was loads of people on the Adrian's Wall though. Loads. Right, where are we going? Up there somewhere. Where's the path gone? <laughs> There's just chickens everywhere. I've got a dog here. Got a big cock up. He's a big boy, isn't he? Oh, we've got some ducks. There's an ugly looking ducky. Hey, hey big dog. Uh, there's a cat in that caravan. Wow. What a menagerie. Big cock up. Big cock up's done one under the fence. Don't them feet feel nice. Look chilly on your feet. Is it chilly on your feet? Get a drink, is then? Lovely. I've done it. Thousand calories. I couldn't help myself. I was absolutely starving. Look, look at my stove. Perfect little wedge. Just hide it behind the wall. There's a that. I got a draft straight on my neck through that one. But no, I just took my puffy on just because. I've took my waterproof on because that's underneath my legs. I've got my boots off. And we've got the doggy wobbly chilling out. Got the solar panel out with the phone plugged into it. It's only trickle charging it now because the sun's gone in. But every bit out, say. Hey. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just looking at the map. I'm going to go up onto Hetty Burn Common next. Uh, which is white on the map. So that means it's un uninterfered. It's marshland, it's bog land, whatever they call it. Um, yeah, up and over that. And then a bit more. Yeah. 
So I'm actually just up here near that road at that crossroads and then I'm going to come down here and I'm probably going to wild camp somewhere here. I bet I couldn't do that again. Right. I'm going to have a cup of tea and then uh, yeah, pack up and press on because I've kind of like sprawled it out, made a right mess as you do. Check that out. That is the North Pennines. We have officially left Northumberland. That's over there. See ya! We're on to the next job. North Pennines. Oh, please be kinder than what we've had. That's all I can say. So now we have got the big 900 metre to go. I think that'll be a tomorrow job. It ain't going to be a today job. But yeah, tomorrow or the next day, I can't remember now. Depends on the weather. Because you can't go up there if it's really cloudy, apparently. So somebody said. But there's a town I'm going to call in tomorrow morning. Uh, Aylston's or something. Um, we'll have a look there, have a work in there with the. Because we've got a hiking shop, camping shop type thing. Outdoor shop, that's the word I was looking for. So we'll have a word in there and see what they're saying. Get some inside info. Lovely little bridge, look. That's the Pennine Bridge, Pennine Way. We've still got this brown water off the peat bogs or whatever they're called. But look at this, lovely little place. There's a road just over there. Drops down and goes back up. I've got to go that way, up over some more moorland and beyond. Um, but it's going to rain about four in the morning, four or five. So I want to be up early and pack up so among all this bracken you can see a lazy dog and there she is look and then behind the lazy dog we've got a lazy little tent now i know we're in yeah footpath there look where that post is comes down i know it's not late the road's there look that's the road bridge if you get down to the same height as the tent you can't really see it. And the tents are the same colour. Good colour, isn't it? So that's me. I'm going to... I've still got my solar panel out. It's just trickling the battery up. So I'm going to get an early night. I'm going to get an early night. Uh, oh, sorry. Phone's in the end. <laughs> can't get my finger out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to have an early night. I feel knackered. I've done 20, just over 20 miles again. Um, my feet are aching and there's that moorland and then I don't know what's the other side of the moorland I could be stuck with nowhere to camp so I thought why am I here because I want to get to that town tomorrow in the morning I can't get there too early so yeah I think we're in a good spot we'll get going and let the rain come while I'm hiking so my tent's dry I'll leave with my waterproofs on in the morning and then yeah I'll dry it's only it's only here for a bit and then it's gone. These bloody midges. I'm glad I've got the tent door shut. I've got my stuff in there. Yeah, right, I'm going to get in there. I'll catch you later. <laughs>